What's up guys, this is Heiss, and we're here today with another episode of K37 Kitchen. And once again, as you can see, by the fact that this locomotive has no deck, we are doing T19 Tavern? Shrug. We'll, we'll think of another name, but the playlist is still K37 Kitchen. The K37's over there in the shop getting some maintenance. Dusty is actually lapping the throttle right now. Look at him working so hard. Good roundhouse foreman. Anyway, today we're going to be making tacos featuring a flour tortilla recipe from Josh Weissman and then the Rajas con queso recipe from Ethan Chablaski. Really simple, really flavorful. Hopefully it turns out really well. I've never made tortillas before, but uh, we're going to give it a try. ¿Qué pasa amigos? Yo soy Heis y bienvenidos a T19 Taquería. First things first, we gotta make the tortilla recipe. So we got the flour, we got the lard, which was uh, mm, a little bit of a challenge to get out of my implements with lack of tools, and uh, the world's cleanest shop sink to get some water from, make sure it's nice and warm. Dump that in and uh, get your hopefully not too shop hands uh, to, you know, do doughy afterwards. Yep, give that a little knead, and then put it away for night nights, make sure that it's good and tucked in uh, with a clean towel. Then it was time to get the peppers ready uh, as well as the cheese that way we could let the dough rest and do the thing and of course uh, I only brought the one knife and I love that knife but it's not uh, necessarily ideal for those things but we get the cheese all chopped up and then uh, tried to slap it inside the peppers to let everyone know each other while they're doing the thing and it was back to kneading and making dough balls and once we got all the dough balls out, it was time to roll them out into actual tortillas, which was not my original plan, but it worked. Yeah, I was thinking about smashing these between shovels and then I read about <laughs> gluten, so. Yeah. You know, hand making a bunch of tortillas is a ton of work, takes a ton of time, but if you've got the time, it's the right way to do it. But if you don't have the time, you should check out today's sponsor, Factor. I have done a ton of work and a ton of travel recently. The past couple months have been the busiest I've ever had in my life. And I found myself pretty much subsiding on fast food and not much else. And Factor has helped me get away from that. I don't have to go to the grocery store. I don't have to cook meals myself. In two minutes, I've got a delicious chef prepared meal ready to go. It's perfect for me whether I'm at the museum working on the locomotives or if I'm at home locking myself in the video editing dungeon. Eating Factor's meals is an easy way to stay more on the nutritious side, but keep the convenience on my end, which is something really important to me. The meals are nutritious, fresh, and chef prepared, and they're ready to eat in just two minutes. And there's also more to factor than just the lunches and dinners. From easy breakfasts and protein shakes and smoothies, they've got more than 60 plus add-ons to keep you fueled and focused 24 seven. So when it's oh dark 30 and you're getting ready to go fire up a steam engine, and I normally would just skip breakfast, a protein shake is a great way to arrive ready to go. Factor is also now owned by HelloFresh, and with a wider array of meal plans to choose from, there's something for everybody, whether you wanna use your chef's skills or have something that's really easy and fast to heat up like Factor. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use code HICE 50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. That's code HICE 50 at factor75.com to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month of orders. Okay, well, all of the mises en place, as I think the French say, shrug. I got the peppers ready to be roasted. I got all the tortillas rolled out and all the things. Did all that a little bit earlier while we were waiting for the, uh, the stove to come up to temp here. Uh, but it seems quite up to temp. In fact, Jeff was saying that she's probably gonna have steam in just a little bit here. But we've got a nice, nice roaring fire of wood and coal in there that uh, looks like it could honest to God use more air. So we're gonna have a little smoked tortilla a la coal, but coal fired pizza's a thing? Shrug? I don't know, maybe it sucks, maybe it doesn't. But over to my left, We've got everything set up. I've got the tortillas ready, the peppers and the cheese, and then a dish towel, which I've only gotten the outside of dirty because everything on the train is dirty. The inside is still clean, so the, the completed tortillas will go there. Without further ado, we're gonna, we're gonna preheat the scoop and see how this goes. I have no idea uh, how this is gonna work. I've never homemade tortillas before, so, uh, which is kind of surprising because I like doing strain stuff like that but anyway in his video Josh said to get the cast iron skillet ripping hot a, a thin shovel on coal for 20 seconds probably good shrug I mean that's smoking Let's see how this goes well, it didn't immediately like sizzle or do anything stupid 
Is it gonna do a little bubbly? It's doing a little bubbly. How's this gonna go? Is this gonna go well or is this gonna go poorly? Oh. I'm always amazed when this stuff actually works. <laughs> that like, that was just right. Beginner's luck, it's fine. Leave it on there, just a second. It looks pretty good on both sides. Okay, first victim down. We're gonna, I need, I wish there was more clean space on this locomotive. And we're gonna rinse and repeat. Stick it in for a little bit. Get a little bubblage, do a little flip. I've got 16 of these to do, so I'm probably only gonna film the couple. But yeah, you get a little bubbles, you come out, give her a little flip. God, that looks just like, that's gorgeous. Oh, now I'm excited. This is gonna be tasty. This is gonna be good stuff. Well, I'm gonna keep making these, uh, these tortillas and uh, we'll see you when it's pepper time. All right, well. All of the tortillas are now done. I graduated to doing two at a time because it saved a little time and we had space on the scoop. Almost caught the back of the scoop on fire uh, at least once. Started smoking a whole bunch and uh, yet yeah, thankfully uh, lovely folks are around to help out with that sort of thing and we've got a whole tank of water right behind me. But now it is time to get the pepper and cheese mixture going. And uh, this is gonna be a little interesting because I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can do it without using the scoop to get the, the peppers properly done, but I have a feeling that that may not work, but it's all right. That's what PPE is for, right? Pepper preparation equipment. Yes. <laughs> Prepper preparation equipment, Co yeah. correct. All right, well, let's see if I can hold that over the fire without too much struggle. I was probably a little bit uh, ambitious with thinking that these short tongs were gonna work. Don't, yeah, exactly, don't drop the pepper. And it's not gonna roast if I do that. So I might just have to, we might just have to scoop it anyway. Yeah, so the tongs are not gonna vibe. So we'll put them off to the side here. I'm gonna get my tortillas up and keep them in the keep warm zone, AKA the cab. I guess we'll just load up the scoop with peppers with cheese stuffed in them. So I cut the tops off, did that, and we'll just roast them this way and uh, give him a turn with the, the tongue. You gotta test him too. Uh, make sure that we test that and make sure that it all works and hopefully not set my scoop on fire again. You never know, we might. <clears throat> how, we, how we looking? It's nowhere near hot enough. The fire in the engine's cooled back a little bit, so Jeff was hoping to not run the blower at all and we might find that a little blower would be helpful. We're just heating up 20 today for uh, an event coming up this weekend here. So, here we go. It's starting to get a little action. Yeah, they're blistering up a little bit now. Oh yeah. <laughs> the pleasant aroma of mm, pepper and cheese has, uh, has begun here. Pepper and cheese with a hint of bituminous. With a hint of bituminous, correct. That piece of cheese not sticking in that pepper is causing some problems, but that's okay. That's no good. Just trying to get a little char on these guys. I was hoping to roast them over the open flame a little bit, but it was not to be, I guess. That was close. It was. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, if you guys could not be liquefying cheese quite yet. We're just trying to roast the outside of the peppers. Yeah, the whole thought process on this is you roast the peppers, cheese inside, they inherit some of that peppery goodness, bring them out, chop them up on the board, cook it up, fry it up on the, uh, the scoop, and then get the filling, dunk it onto the tortillas, and then consume. But yeah, the, uh, the cheese is causing problems, so I think we'll just, uh, we'll just pull it all off here. Sir, we don't serve pizza here. It's fair lunch in case this doesn't work out. Oh, fair enough. Ah. Leftover Thomas lunch. I was gonna say, D Dusty has just arrived with pizza. Pizza. Do we have more paper plates? Yeah. Could you go get some and bring some this way? He said, no, but I want pizza now. Mm -hmm. But I like my pizza. Um, How dare you? Well, 
After much arduous rearranging and recutting of all the things, we now have a not strong enough paper plate for my pile of peppers and cheese, which now go back on the scoop, get zhuzhed around, melted, meet each other, the whole thing. So I'm gonna start with a little one because I don't know how this is gonna space out time-wise and everything, but we'll preheat the scoop. And you, you're supposed to be looking at the scoop. There's a way to do this where it's not an entire pain in the butt. Alright, getting a good sizzle. Get all that stuff in there. That's where the danger is. Now we've got loose articles on the scoop here. So crank the blower up to... <laughs> yes, yeah, crank the blower up all the way and suck it right off. It was funny, somebody tagged me in a, a, a post recently where they said, oh, I learned that you couldn't actually cook on the scoop uh, on a train because the train would just steal the stuff off. And it's like, no, only while underway, you know, while the engine's working. I think Clarkson found that out the hard way. Yes, I did too, in the grilled cheese episode. <laughs> One downside of my shovel is it's always a two-handed operation to get out. There we go. I'm starting to get all that that goody good right there. A little char on the pepper, a little char on the, the cheese. If I can get the rest of that goodness off there. Not exactly gone, Steve. No. As we found in the very first episode of K37 Kitchen, I didn't buy the non-stick non scoop. It was the best line from Eric. Which is why I brought my steel scrapey spatula. I've left the port and starboard attachments at home though. Everything about the scoop makes everything difficult. It is the world's most inconvenient frying pan. Uh, it is. That, I, would, I would agree with that, yeah. All right. Well. That's a lovely deep subject. <laughs> yes, a well is a deep subject. If I had limes, he would be limed. <laughs> well, we're gonna see how this how this do. My tortillas are have cooled down a little bit, but. You know, about taco. I think frying the tortilla up in a little butter or something would be the move. But. Not so bad. First taco is a little dry. Definitely would recommend if you're gonna cook tacos on the scoop on the fly. Make sure you got a little butter or something. I checked the fridge. We didn't have any in the roundhouse, so uh, we're just gonna do that. But I'm just gonna try and make sure that uh, get the rest of this fried up and get the crew all happy. So, Hovi wants tacos. I do. I gotta get back on the road. I was gonna say. Well, you can have that one, and then I'll make some more. Oh. There you go. Okay. All right, sir. All right. You'll have to give us an honest ranking. All right. It's I, a... I ain't ever had a taco without any meat on it. <laughs> well, this is a, this is a very traditional <laughs> thing. I know. Oh, this is this is cool. Let's give it a try. <laughs> give her a little go. What you got? My take was that is good. A little dry, but the flavor's good. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. If you fry those tortillas up with a little bit of butter. Valve oil if you run out. I mean, <laughs> that'll be all right. we don't have any butter. We could try valve oil. Good. I don't know if that's edible. So everything's edible at least once. Well, well I, I would like it to be edible more than once. It's gonna say. Yeah. You want me to give this thing a little blow, Jeff? Yeah. Wake her up a bit. See if it does anything. Yes. Blower is now on. Okay. He's got the drain. One of these days. I got your card all wet. What, 20 wants tacos. She's steaming, steaming for them. Oh, so. there I got into a bite to get a little bit of the heat. Oh yeah, you, you occasionally, you, you, you find a little bit of the spicy in there, which that's is better. nice. That's, yeah. That's a lot better. Yeah, the spice adds a little bit, but of course, you know, like every pepper in existence, oh, sure, yeah. it's always just a roll of the dice. Yeah. I don't have a warming drawer on the 20, but I do have the top of a boiler, so. We'll have to get some tortillas from, from our thing. They're actually a fair bit warmer than, uh, than they were earlier, which is funny. <laughs> yes, 
He says, getting pepper sprayed yourself. Pe- I've literally <laughs> pepper sprayed myself. Essence of pepper came directly up into my nostrils there. Yes, no, draft is, it's fun. You can actually see, and I wonder if Shovel Cam can see it. You can see the, all the smoke and everything and the, the steam from the cheese getting whisked away and you can see the, the fire up there doing the whole thing. And then of course, yeah, as I pull the thing out, yeah, it just wicks it right away. Ooh. Don't touch the hot part, Mark. Is what, third time today? Well, second. Sec- yeah, somebody's counting. There needs to be a Mark Green counter. <laughs> you know, I haven't actually gotten knock on wood, Jesus Christ. I haven't gotten seriously burned doing K37 Kitchen yet. T19, yes, welcome to. It's not K37 Kitchen, it's T19 Tacos. The T19 Taqueria, perhaps. Yes. Yes. I need to go give this to Dusty. We need to get the sous chef's opinion. Dusty, I need you to stop actually working. Oh, okay. I need you to continue not actually working. Taco. Yeah, okay. My take was a little dry, dry. but the flavor's really good. The flavor's good. Neat to me. Well. That's what I said. Far be it for the group of railroaders. I want chicken or steak in their taco. Or pork. Pork. I need this to be decent. This is traditional. Do I look like I'm traditional? I'm not traditionally Hispanic. (laughs) Fair enough. Next time, make meat. Make it more... Make it more complicated. It wasn't complicated enough. <laughs> we did Wagyu steak last time. How does the ante need upped? It's fine. I've been, uh, I've been, I've been ruminating on many things. How would you do Thanksgiving dinner on the choo-choo? In the smoke box? Right, exactly. I was thinking... We may have to pull the business card in for this one. We might. Uh, or you use the steam to sous vide it. Ooh. You run a heat exchanger <laughs> into a thing <laughs> and try and regulate it. Cab, you, steam. cab steam heat, sous vide, I don't know. We'll see if I can figure that out. That's what you could do is run a steam line off the cab heat, steam heat exhaust. Exactly. And then you run that through and then hopefully it works. That's one way so, to do it. Either that or you yeah. smoke it in the smoke box. Yeah, right, the steam heat would work. So maybe that'll be coming up. Either way, We hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching. Tacos are pretty good. Not the best, not the worst that we've had on K37 Kitchen, but I guess next time, uh, yeah, we gotta add, they want the meats. They're trained people. What do you expect? (laughs) Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch y'all next time. I can't believe I almost forgot the single most important step of this whole thing. And that is not trying to melt the cheese back off of my precious cool scoop. I do use my own scoop. We have many scoops, but I use my own. (laughs) But I forgot to give 20 her taco. So we'll build her one real quick. All right, 20. This one's for you. Thumbnail shot, thumbnail shot, thumbnail shot. (laughs) Enjoy that, sweetheart.
Hi everybody, welcome to K4 Kitchen. I'm Nick Hobie, and uh, well, what the f um, sir, Spoiler. yeah, 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 you're, you're on, you're, you've run aground, <laughs> and you're in a locomotive. What? what? Um. Well, um. Well, it's a good thing I signed up for Factor. 